So this is the high containment lab uh, that uses the virus. At the Sanford Burnham Previs Medical Discovery Institute, virologist Sumit Chanda shows off his lab where scientists are testing out drugs on live strains of the coronavirus. They can spend about three uh, three hours in there. They're, they're in a negative pressure environment. They get uh, dehydrated pretty quickly. This facility is built with the negative pressure to ensure any materials inside don't leak outside. At this lab and others across San Diego and the world, Chanda and his team have tested over 12,000 drug therapies that are either FDA approved or in clinical trial. And 30 of them could stop the spread of coronavirus in cells in a lab setting. This is a first step, right? We have 30 more rays of sunshine poking through right now that could be uh, potential cures, right? But uh, uh, until and unless we are able to go through clinical investigation and have uh, uh, case control studies, there's no need to really for the public to go out and try to um, either ask their doctors or, 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 or try, to, try to hoard any of these medications. The drugs scientists tested out span a range of types. Some of them weren't, weren't it, went into clinical trials. Uh, for things like Crohn's disease, for things like lymphoma. Um, I mean, they just ran, run the gamut. Uh, hypertension, there were a, a number of anti-malarial drugs. Chenda says the virus takes over multiple proteins in the body. So most likely, treating patients will require a cocktail of different drugs. And the study suggests several may pan out. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS News.